Hello, good people of YouTube, Mountbatten here, and today we are talking about what is, in my opinion, the single worst premium ship ever released in this game's history, and that is the one, the only, Tier 8 British Light Cruiser, the Tiger 59. Why are you talking about the Sea Lord? Well, for some reason last night on stream, I thought, hey, Let's just start with the Tiger 59 because the last couple of weeks has been kind of rough in the game and if we start with the worst, it can only get better from there. My goal was to have a match that was, you know, decent for a tier 8 cruiser, which would be like 150,000 damage. Well, that was a little bit too far out of reach, so I said, well, let's just try to break 100,000 damage in the Tiger 59 and boy, boy, that was a fun time trying to do that and while playing the ship throughout the night there's a couple of observations and easy fixes to the ship in order to just get it you know up to just a, a mediocre tier 8 cruisers levels and we're going to talk about that and the ship in today's video and why you definitely don't want to buy the ship <laughs> at all in today's world of warships but guys if you find yourself enjoying this video make sure to drop a like leave a comment and subscribe to the channel as you're watching this video and before you click off if you do enjoy it i would greatly appreciate that so tiger 59 now this is a real still historical ship a real tiger was built hms tiger where there's two actually the battle cruiser and then this light cruiser after the war and well in real life this ship was mainly an asw slash command ship meaning that it was never really intended to really use its guns in a frontline manner like what we get in the game, but hey, we've had all sorts of ships from other roles in real life get press ganged into different roles in the game, so that's not really unique to the Tiger 59 here. But it is a real still historical ship, and I do think it's worth noting, and it's a bit of a tragedy in my mind when a real still historical ship gets kind of shafted in this game, and it unfortunately happens quite a bit so there's that tiger 59 what do you have to work with here well you have a very lightly armored light cruiser you have a 25 millimeter bow 25 millimeter midsection 25 millimeter stern 27 millimeter mid deck and your citadel is well it, it's not that well hidden and it's kind of big like like most royal navy light cruisers now it's not exactly standing up out of the water but it's large it's not covered by anything you don't get any type of silly torpedo protection uh space armor like you get with the french um cruisers so yeah you might be thinking 25 millimeters that sounds pretty decent sea lord well do remember this is a tier 8 ship that can and will see tier 10 games now and we got a lot of stuff at that tier that can absolutely vibe check right through this ship's armor and it does happen it does happen a lot. A whole lot. So, it's a light cruiser though, so that's not terribly unexpected from it. What is rather quite bad is, well, it's it's armor. I'm sorry, it, it's, it's artillery. You get four guns on the ship. You get you, you get two Minotaur turrets. That, that's what you, you get. Two Minotaur turrets, that's what they are. So, you have four guns. And that's it. And it does get the improved AP that the Minotaur gets with the improved ricochet angles to where if you've been on the receiving end of a Minotaur, you know that it can only throw AP at you because it only has AP, but that doesn't really matter because of the sheer volume of fire coming at you. It's going to basically, you know, 10,000 paper cuts you to death in a fair amount of time, depending upon how long you uh, get stuck under its reign of AP. But with that, with those improved AP pin angles, you tend to bite a, a lot more with the Minotaur, and you eat into the armor a little bit more than you would then with normalized AP pins, especially with guns of this caliber, of course, too. Again, th these are relatively small guns. In the game, they are, again, only 152 millimeter guns. So at tier 10, you know, it, it kind of works out. But with the Tiger, you only have four of them. And no, this thing doesn't have a cheat, which still boggles my mind to this day. This is, without a doubt, one of the absolute worst ships in the game, if you just look at its stats. Now, in my opinion, like I said, I do think it, it, it is the worst premium ship in the game, and the worst ship in the game. But even if you look at its stats, 
The damage record for the Tiger on the North American server is a little over 200,000 damage. That is not even anywhere near insane levels of damage for a tier 8 cruiser. And that's its record. A little over 200,000 damage. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, the damage output really isn't there. And um, these four guns, they, they reload in 3.2 seconds with the build that I have on it right now, which is a tier 8, so you can't slot the reload module. So, I mean, that, that is what it is. 3.2 seconds is the reload time on four guns. Yeah, with no HE. No HE at all. So, what winds up happening is that ships, naturally, when you start throwing AP in their face, they tend to go bow into you, as most ships do. And you and your Tiger 59, because you don't have a HE, you just keep throwing AP at them. So naturally you start bouncing off their turrets, bouncing off their deck, bouncing off their bow, because they're only 152mm guns. And yes, they do have the improved pin angles, but when they're steeply angled to you, it, it, it still doesn't go through. So, yeah. So there's that. There is that. Now, you might think, well, surely, you know, it's got the other British gimmicks, right? Like torpedoes with the single drop mechanic, smokescreen, radar. Well, it does have the smokescreen and radar, which is very nice in terms of utility to have at tier 8. The ship does have good utility. I will give it that. You've got smoke, 9 kilometer radar, and DFAA. You're just missing hydro, and you would have had the whole Wooster suite right there, plus the smoke. So it does have good utility. And that is very useful for when you're near a cap, DD's in the cap, pop the radar, you catch them, you're smoked up, and you can usually do a decent bit of damage to them before they get out of your radar range, if not, murder them. When that does happen, at least. But no torpedoes. No torpedoes at all. Now, this is understandable from coming from the point of fact that the ship in real life didn't have any torpedoes. Fair enough. But you know what the ship had in real life? HE rounds. The ship had HE rounds. It's not like the, the Royal Navy just said, you know what, Tiger? You don't get HE. You only get AP. For some reason. <laughs> Why? Why Wargaming doesn't the ship have HE? Or even SAP at this point. You give it SAP, I think that would be a pretty fair uh, addition to the ship. So no torpedoes, which means that... When you're chilling in your smoke, farming down, or trying to farm down, or do whatever you can in this ship, it is nothing for a battleship or any cruiser to just run right at you. What are you going to do? Your AP isn't going to do jack to them when they're bowing to you. Your armor is exceptionally brittle when you're facing battleships. You don't have any torpedoes. Like the other British cruisers do, because that, that's a very real uh, danger if you want to push a, an Edinburgh, a Minotaur, a Neptune. They have the single drop torpedoes. So they can, you know, just conga line them right into your bow when you eat all of them. You can't do that in the Tiger. So, ship's not much of a threat when it comes time to push them. Not to mention, too, that in order for the ship to do anything you either have to be behind an island or in the smoke if you try open water gunboating with it you're not going to last for very long unless it's a very late game and the battleships are either dead or on the other side of the map so you have to be smoked up or behind an island to really you know get your rounds on target not to mention that the rounds are of course exceptionally floaty and for someone like me that doesn't have much experience with these shells um it does take a fair amount of concentration to, to do that so trying to dodge stuff in the open water isn't very um well, viable for myself at the moment, and I don't think the ship in general would be that good at it, given its fragility. So, that means you obviously have to have someone spotting for you. Now, again, this isn't something that's, you know, a unique issue to the Tiger 59. Spotting's an issue right now, because DDs at higher tier aren't very willing to go out with all the, uh, well, fun and engaging mechanics we have right now, right now like submarines and uh, the new hybrid ships and stuff, so that's an issue as well. Now the ship does get a heal. It is an improved heal. It's not a dry dock heal like the Neptune or the Minotaur, but it is an improved heal at tier 8, so you do have that going for you as well. But even with all that together in the game, this ship is just pure misery for the fact that it only has four guns. And the turret angles are, are terrible for some reason. 
The ship has 360 turrets, so typically ships that do have 360 turrets, they tend to have pretty darn good turret angles. Not the Tiger 59. In order to get both of your turrets on target, you have to show an incredibly uncomfortable amount of broadside to the enemy ship. And given that a lot of times that's going to be a battleship, if you get spotted and they see you, you're probably eating a fair amount of damage for your mistake of being spotted, if not outright deleted by whatever it is that spotted you. So, yeah, guys, this ship is absolutely miserable. That's been reaffirmed to me after playing this ship for a few hours last night on stream. If you want to watch me suffer through that, the full stream VOD is up on both Twitch and YouTube. So, have fun with my suffering. But if you ever see this thing on sale, get it in a Santa container. It is a wonderful port queen. I, 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 I don't know why you would need this thing for anything. We have plenty of other British premium ships. The Royal Navy Tech Line Light Cruiser is so much better than this thing because it has the appropriate level of DPM. My easiest fix to this thing more gaming would just give it HE. Even with HE, this thing would still be mediocre at best because of the fire rate. Because you still only have four guns firing every 3.2 seconds. So, yeah. HE would be a really easy fix. Another fix would be to give it torpedoes. I know that it historically it didn't have it. But, I mean, if you just for some reason don't want to give the thing HE, torpedoes would do. But I think HE would be a wonderful addition to this ship and bring it to a point to where people would at least, you know, maybe consider buying it if they... Well, if a person that's informed maybe would consider buying it. Someone that's uninformed might accidentally grab it up and unfortunately be stuck with it. But, guys, that's my two cents on this ship. Avoid it like the plague. It hasn't gotten any better in the past year or so that it's been out. It's just, it's, it's, it's a nice crate stuffer. It's a nice port queen. And if you're a collector, you just gotta have all the historical ships, well, you probably got it already. So, guys, just wanted to talk to talk about the Tiger 59 after my uh, experiences with it last night on stream. Hope you guys enjoyed the, today's video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 50,000 subs, and I can't thank you guys enough for that. Hope you all have a wonderful Saturday. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.